so again we are back with another numerical part related to what time response analysis of control system okay so here again we have come with overshoot and all so our system has 30 percent overshoot so what's the meaning of that 30 percent overshoot means mp value is given peak overshoot okay and settling time is five seconds for a unit step input okay fine and uh, determine the transfer function we have to determine transfer function also calculate peak time output response c of t and ess is nothing but uh, the steady state error okay so ess as a two person we have to assume all the things are given so what is given let us just, just quickly write so solution what is the given thing that peak overshoot is given percentage mp they have directly given it has 30 percent okay next what else is given settling time that is ts is directly given as five seconds then unit step input that and all is fine so we'll start with mp we'll try to get something mp formula always remember the percentage mp the formula is e power minus pi zeta divided by 1 minus zeta square into 100 which is in percentage okay and now here they have already given the percentage mp value as 30 so i'll put it as 30 which is equal to that means it is given as 30 which is equal to e power minus pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square it is in the numerator part okay so just i'll write it here so e power this into 100 is there now this 100 can be brought here so it will become 30 by 100 what is 30 by 100 it is 0 0.3 is equal to e power minus pi so i'll write like minus pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square so it is better now i have to remove this exponential e how to remove this e you have to take log on both sides right so you have to take natural log here ln on both sides so when i take uh, for the exponential what is what will happen this exponential will be gone so what is left out when you take log the exponential will be gone what is left out minus pi zeta by under root of 1 minus zeta square i took log okay always understand taking log on both sides if you want to write taking log on both sides so that's why the exponential part is gone because we need to find from this the zeta value that's why we are doing this. now now we have to solve this entire thing in order to get what uh, the zeta value so natural log we have to take okay in the calculator you can see that option okay it is natural log so it is uh, we will get the answer as 1 point minus 1.203972 till here we will write it and uh, here we have having minus pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square now we need to simplify this okay so just to multiply this minus and minus will be gone just multiply one point the thing will be uh two zero two nine seven two two one minus zeta square is equal to pi into zeta this pi can be brought here and then we can square it square it in order to get the zeta value pi can be brought here so one point two zero three nine seven two divided by pi and uh, squaring what it will give i'll square both side okay so one minus there was no need of bringing this this side okay this will square it so squaring both sides what will happen so square just square it so this I, i'll keep it as it is 3972 divided by pi this whole square is there then zeta square is left out then uh, square and square root will get cancelled 1 minus zeta square will be left out this value we are getting it as 0 0.14686 just verify it equal to zeta square by 1 minus zeta now here when i multiply close multiply what will happen will be 0 0.1468 this thing into 1 minus zeta square is equal to zeta square So just uh, open the bracket 0 0.14686 multiplying minus 0 0.14686 into zeta square is equal to zeta square 
now zeta square is common so i can take uh, zeta this thing so 0 0.14686 uh, equal to zeta thing i can take common so zeta square i'll take common what is left out one minus uh, this will go that side so let me just uh, simplify this part so we'll do it okay so what will happen 0 0.14686 i'll keep here this i'll shift to that side zeta square plus 0 0.14686 in zeta square from this can i take zeta square common it will be 1 plus 0 0.14686 0 0.14686 is there now zeta square will be this two you have to add and divide by this thing so it will be 0 0.146686 divided by 1 plus this thing will be 1.14686 is equal to zeta square zeta square we got okay so let me just quickly divide it is 0 0.14686 uh, divided by 1.14686 i'm getting the answer as 0. 0 0.12805 okay which is equal to zeta square now how to take you have to take the square root of square root of the answer so zeta will be equal to square root of 0 0.12806 oh sorry 05 is equal to 0 0.3578 something we are getting okay, so this is zeta value little bit uh simplification we had to do that is fine so you might have uh, understood this part okay, what we have done now let us go zeta value we got from mp then settling time also we have the formula from that can i get omega n value also yes i can get let us go for the next part settling time they have given it as 5 seconds so i apply i'll apply that formula so i have they have given settling time as 5 seconds so settling time formula is given by 4 by zeta omega n now here 4 by zeta value is already we know that we found out just 0 0.3578 into omega n value we don't know so i'll just write omega n omega n which is equal to what 5 seconds so from this can i get omega n value yes you can get equal to 5 seconds so omega n will be uh, omega n i'll shift there 5 i'll bring here so omega n is equal to 4 by 0 0.3578 into 5 right so from this i can get omega n value omega n value i'm getting it as 2.2358 radian per second okay radian per second this is the unit for natural frequency omega n now we have to find transfer function because they have asked us to find transfer function here you can see determine the transfer function which is nothing but c of s by r of s we have to determine so for that they have not given g of s or they have not given h of s nothing they have given so but they have given we found out zeta and omega and from that can we find out see the thing is that the thing is that transfer function formula is given as c of s by r of s right and for the second order system we know that we know that what it will be it will be equal to omega n square by omega sorry s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square this will be the formula so in this can i substitute omega n value and zeta value and try to get the answer yes you can try so it will be equal to omega n square what is omega n this is something but 2.2358 just now we got we have to square it all divided by s square will remain s square then 2 zeta what is zeta value we got which is nothing but uh, 0 0.3578 into omega n that is 2.258 then s plus omega n square which is nothing but the same thing 0.2358 the whole okay so i hope you understood what we are trying to do so basically this this is the part we got now after simplifying what we are getting we will be getting the transfer function as transfer function as just simplify it will be 4.9988 divided by s square plus 2 zeta omega ns so it will be 1.599 
s s will remain s only okay plus omega n square again the same thing 9988 this will be our transfer function first part of the question is done now we have to find the peak time output response also okay so peak time very simple we already have the formulas for omega n and zeta so we can directly find out so peak time the formula is given by peak time is denoted with tp the formula is very simple pi by omega d now pi value we already have now what is omega d value that is nothing but omega n into 1 minus zeta square okay this is the relation between omega d omega d is damped um, frequency and omega n is nothing but natural frequency so pi by omega n value we already have just substitute okay i am not writing again and again but still for you all right omega n value is 2.58 into 1 minus zeta square zeta value we have 0 0.3578 just substitute that value we will be getting the tp value as 1.5047 seconds now next what we have to find we have to find the output response now how to find the output response c of t so what is the formula so c of t is equal to so output response output response c of t small letter c of t which is equal to 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n t okay, whole divided by this thing divided by square root of 1 minus zeta square into into sin omega d into t plus theta okay omega d into t plus theta now here with this when you substitute you will be getting answer kindly substitute this 1 minus e power minus zeta zeta value we know zeta value is uh, 3 uh, 0 0.3578 then omega n value also we know that is nothing but 2.2358 then t anyways you have to substitute as t this thing divided by min minus zeta square zeta value is again 0 0.3578 square into sine omega d now omega d value we have to this is this is the this denominator is nothing but omega d this you separately find out then you substitute here then you multiply with the t yeah this just substitute this part plus theta so rest all terms will remain as it is okay i'll try to understand but the thing is that what is theta now omega d we know how to find so i'll just quickly write the answer for this omega d just to substitute when you solve this part you know denominator this part you will be getting the answer as 2.0877 radian per second omega d value okay denominator part that will substitute here now what is theta theta how to find theta formula is tan inverse of 1 minus zeta square the square root of that divided by 1 minus okay. 1 minus square root of that divided by zeta so this you will be getting it as radians radians is the unit this uh, substitute you will be getting it as 1.02048 radians after getting theta and omega d just substitute in the equation so you will be getting the c of t output response as 1 minus e power just solve that thing minus 0 0.8 something you'll be getting 8t whole divided by that you take 1 by see here it is basically 1 by this part so this you take reciproc uh, reciprocal means 1 by that you put in the calculator you'll be getting it as 1.07 so 1 by you take that you put here so it will be 1.07 then e power minus uh, 0 0.8t then what is left out sign of 2.088 omega d value okay 887 uh, something into t plus theta value 1.2048 this is the final answer i hope you understood this part this part is nothing but we have taken 1 by yes this is, this is nothing but 1 by i have taken so directly you can otherwise other otherwise what you have to do you have to directly write denominator so this will be our output response of t so everything is done output response peak time transfer function everything is done just the simplification part you have to do with time it will uh, time consuming thing